Hi, fans. This is COH owner, Mr. Travis Sparks. I'm, I'm still the owner, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why the hell is Sean Walsh the owner? Well, that was a botch. I'm the real COH owner, Mr. Travis Sparks. I want to start by saying, fans, thank you for tuning in to Ultimate Glory 5, and thank you for making that event be one of the most special events that COH has ever produced. I want to thank the fans, and I want to thank everyone involved in making Ultimate Glory 5 just feel that much more special. But Ultimate Glory has come and gone. Season 6 is upon us. We have a new future. We have the future coming up with the draft show. What does season six hold for COH? And fans, I gotta tell you, we got a lot going on. We have a lot of new stars coming in from all over the call universe, all over the virtual wrestling, e fetting universe, whatever term you want to use to describe this. But that's not all. Unfortunately, the doctor will be officially retiring from commentary here in COH, and the next episode of Battleground will be his last show being a feature player commentator here in COH. So what does that mean? What does the future hold for uh, commentary in COH? Good question. Which is why we're officially having an, an uh, open entry. We have a job opportunity for anyone out there that's watching this video. It can be anybody, whether the past, the present, that wants to give commentary a try. That may possibly become a new voice here at COH in the future for Battleground episodes. There is a link in the description box below. It is a match, and all you have to do is just one thing. You can commentate this match, whether it be by yourself, or if you want to find yourself a partner, you guys can do this together. And you send your entry in, you send in the commentary, well, to me, not to Sean, to me. And from there, we'll decide, and whoever sends in the best commentary for that particular match may become the official new commentator for COH into Season 6. But that's not all. COH, you know, this is a big show. It's a lot. It it really does. It's a lot. It's a lot for me to handle at times. It could be depressing. It could be fun. It could be the good, the bad, and the ugly. And guys, I gotta be honest. Everybody knows that you know I may not be perfect. I make mistakes. I need help. All right. I mean, you guys already know. I already made the announcement about commentary, but that's that's just not it. I, I need more. I need someone to help me run these shows. I mean, running Slam, Battleground, and doing everything behind the scenes of COH, it's a lot on me. It's, it's too much. So, for the first time ever here at COH, we're going to have... General Managers! <laughs> That's right, I'm going to be announcing General Managers for Slam and Battleground on those upcoming episodes. So stay tuned for that. We're going to have a General Manager for Slam and Battleground. That's what we need here at COH. General Managers. People to call shit and be fair down the middle. Because I can't do it all. I, it's, it's a lot. I'm tired. I need to relax. So fans, don't forget. Match in the description. Send in your commentary. If it's good, you may be the voice, the new voice of COH. And we're going to have General Managers for Slam and Battleground. Woohoo! And it is me, your owner, not Sean, Travis Sparks, saying sayonara and stay tuned for the draft. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot something. I forgot something. Hit the music. That's better. Get in the mood. We crown new tag team champions at Ultimate Glory. And we crowned our Money in the Bank winner. Safan Guerrero, congratulations on winning. And the the Carolina Club, congratulations to you guys as well. I know you're going by a new name. I'll let you guys reveal that at the draft show. But I gotta address this situation. A lot of people wanna know what's gonna happen with the tag team titles now that they're unified. What's gonna happen with Mr. Money in the Bank? Is he still gonna be on Battlegrounds? Is he still gonna be on Slam? Well, what I will tell you guys is this, is that as of now, the tag team titles, the new COH Unified tag team titles will be defended on both Slam and Battleground. So both Trey Jeter and Jeffrey Albritton will be uneligible to be drafted on either Battleground or on Slam. Since they're Unified Champions, they get to appear on both shows. That'll be the direction heading forward into Season 6. Whoever wins the tag team champions will be eligible to compete on both Slam and Battlegrounds. And that includes all the CPVs, all the exclusive CPVs as well. Same goes with Stefan Guerrero because he can cash in that briefcase any time of his choosing. And depending who he cashes it on, whether it be the world champion or the global champion, that's the brand he'll be staying on moving forward. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Thank you. Bye!